Just because the market is flooded with them, it doesn't mean you need to buy a crossover. Sedans still exist and there are plenty of great affordable choices. Take these two for example. We have the 2020 Hyundai Elantra and the 2020 Mazda 3. Which one should you buy? Let's dive in and find out. For those of you who don't need tons of space or wildly specific capabilities, a compact sedan is a perfect vehicle. These are no longer the cramped value-focused machines of yore. For 2020, the Elantra delivers a smartly priced machine that returns great fuel economy and is available with top flight options on the inside. I'm talking about things like standard dual zone climate control, an optional eight speaker infinity sound system, an optional Qi wireless charging pad, and both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which comes standard on every trim above the base SE model. It's much the same story with the Mazda 3. Mazda has been working to make its interiors far more premium feeling. You can get power adjustable heated front seats, a 12 speaker Bose audio system, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available here as well. Hyundai kicks off the pricing game at a lower point. The 2020 Elantra starts at just $19,880. You will want to jump up to at least the SEL though to get the better seven inch touchscreen and four wheel disc brakes. Yes, the bass has rear drums. At the top of the range is the Elantra Limited, which starts at $23,730, but you can climb as high as $27,000 if you get the ultimate package, which adds some more comfort features, more safety features, and a power sunroof. For Mazda, the Mazda 3 starts and ends higher. The base Mazda 3 is $22,420. Here you do get 16-inch alloy wheels and an 8.8-inch infotainment screen, which is nice. It is possible, however, to spec a Mazda 3 out to $31,000. And if you want the hatchback version, which is admittedly our favorite choice here, your starting price rises to $24,520. Forget price for a moment though, and let's talk power. The Mazda 3 uses a two and a half liter four cylinder engine that makes 186 horsepower and 186 pound feet of torque. The standard gearbox is a six speed automatic, but hatchback shoppers can opt for a six speed manual. That's because Mazda still appreciates the zoom zoom driving experience. The sedan is rated to return 30 miles per gallon in combined driving on the front wheel drive model. The optional all wheel drive version sees that number drop to 28 miles per gallon. With the Elantra, you actually have three different engine options. The standard mill is a two liter four cylinder that produces 147 horsepower and is paired with Hyundai's new CVT. It's a good enough combo to deliver over 40 miles per gallon on the highway. There's a fuel focused option though in the 1.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder found in the Elantra Eco. It makes 128 horsepower and works with a seven speed dual clutch gearbox. Here you get 33 miles per gallon city and 41 miles per gallon highway. Finally, the Elantra Sport makes use of a 1.6 liter turbo four that knocks out 201 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque. This one also uses the DCT and delivers 33 miles per gallon on the highway. So to compete against the Mazda 3 driving experience wise, the Elantra shopper needs to opt for the Sport model. The chassis of the Mazda is more entertaining and the interior upgrades have paid off well for the Mazda 3. Still, the Hyundai cabin is quite nice and the driving experience improves with every new iteration the automaker produces. It's fine here with the Elantra, the Mazda 3 is just noticeably sharper. So which to buy? If your main concerns are price and warranty, you should head to your local Hyundai dealership. The Elantra is the car for you. If, however, you want something affordable that's also quite fun to drive, you'll want to take a closer look at the Mazda 3. Our choice? Get the hatchback, because it comes standard with a lot of the optional upgrades found with the sedan. Thank you.